I don't think people really understand the, the challenges that face a service lever. For many, the transition can be incredibly daunting. This is going to, and is already, throwing up challenges. Being back in the desert, you know, it brings back all sorts of emotions. For me, PTSD, it's all about, you know, you're locking yourself away. So hopefully doing this will push my boundaries a bit more, knowing that I can do it and it's not a problem. Once uh, the guys are on the start line, I think it'll be 100% intensity. Five, four, three, two, Let's go! Go, go, go! That's it, George. Go, go, go. Power, 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 power. That's it. Perfect job. And we're going straight on and we're going right. The weather's changing and it's making navigation really tough. Uh, team, please be aware, if you look to your left, we've got a sandstorm coming through, just be mindful of that, visibility will be reduced. So we've got lots of sand coming under the car while I'm trying to get the pressures down. Well, as Carter Rally goes, it's highly demanding, even for the most fittest and able-bodied people. When you bring people into the mix that are in wheelchairs, with prosthetic limbs, or have got mental health issues, it really ups the ante. In. Most of us are sort of directly linked in with the military, so we've all got that attitude of let's get out there and achieve the uh, unachievable. They're doing fantastic in a way in which we never anticipated. The first time driving these cars in this sort of environment, you know, we found out that these cars can actually climb mountains. We're pumped. We are, we are ready for this, and we're going to smash this today. We've just had messages to tell us that one of the vehicles has hit a problem. So we actually went through a ditch, misjudged it, hit it straight on. Uh, we've hit the radiator and we seem to have a split in it. They're going to get recovered back to the bivouac. If all the stars align, we'll be all right for tomorrow morning. It's all shaky like this, but it's really good. So yeah, there's been a little bit of teasing inside the car of who, who made the mistake, that the, the driver and the navigator. We'll, we'll still settle that. So today is the 1st of the Junes. So a uh, big day for the cars, really, and for everybody here, because they've not done it before. These dunes, when we go, approach them with gusto, momentum, but not over exuberance. I've only, I've only got a little bit of sound. You caught it here, you drop the wheel in, and it's actually vertical, and the vehicle just goes off like that, and it's over. Power, 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 yeah, power, yeah, yeah, power, yeah, yeah, power, power, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm power, trying. Power, 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 power. We're stuck now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, we're stuck. <laughs> People that only three or four weeks ago had never driven off road are taking these cars up things you just wouldn't believe. Oh, it's a great team. Uh, we are so impressed. I love this place, mate. I love this place, but sand, I've had enough of it. <laughs> Morale between us all is amazing. It's being around guys in similar situation. Silly salmon. I've done stuff this week that I didn't think were possible and it's been amazing, it really has. It's been an absolutely awesome but unforgiving week in terms of terrain and sleep deprivation but the people and the cars have performed brilliantly. If I'm having a bad day, just think of climbing the mountain in the duster, you know, amazing. We've created not just one memory, but a whole series of memories. It's been fantastic. <laughs>